right, so here he is, the wildly popular fan favorite, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. He's had a lot of big moments, obviously, in the UFC, but he still believes that he can get on a championship trajectory. What does he have to do to get it done here tonight? If Gamebred Masvidal wants to win this fight, he's got to stay upright. We saw him smothered by Colby Covington. We saw him struggle in the Kamaru Usman fight the first time, just getting pushed against the side of the octagon. He needs to be out in space where he can use his tremendous boxing skills to allow for him to set the types of traps that we have seen him do on so many different occasions. But let's not forget Masvidal possesses wrestling, and he can also pivot to that to try to get his hand raised tonight. And remarkably, he made his pro MMA debut in Fort Lauderdale in 2003. He has recently passed his 20-year anniversary as an MMA pro. Sugar Sean O'Malley, and you can argue a lot of these people in the building tonight are here to see him. You can argue, though, this is his stiffest challenge in the UFC. I believe so. I believe this is the toughest one. And I know he's fought Piotr Jan, the former champion. I know he's fought Pedro Munoz. But this opponent tonight is going to push him in ways that he has not been pushed before. Does Sean O'Malley use his fantastic footwork, his speed, and his mind to set enough traps to get the victory? I guess we'll see very shortly. Well, you all know the judges are looking for damage and moments of damage, and Sean O'Malley has been pretty good at providing those over the last several years in the UFC. Sugar Sean O'Malley, ready to add to his appreciable legacy here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending U.S. Heavyweight champion of the world, Sugar Sean O'Malley. Herb Dean, our referee Green for this fight. one. Ready. Good. The calm, cool, collected Jorge Gamebred Masvidal ready to go, and so are we. Round one is underway. We have seen an uptick in the aggression for Masvidal as he has vaulted into welterweight contention. Ask Donald Cowboy Cerrone about that aggression. <laughs> in a world of trouble now. They say the straighteners are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, man, it's hard. O'Malley's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Good start for the Sugar Show, Sean O'Malley, realizing particular success with that left hand. Yeah, he's got a great left hand. He's so long for the weight that he pops the jab and he just darts him with the left hand. And you see it on full display right now. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on bro. These guys said that they were going to point this into the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Oh, that's a real flow here. Stick 
kicking and moving. Crowd is like just reacting every time he moves. Masvidal now has the crowd eating out of his hands. But one thing about Jorge that makes him so difficult to deal with is he never allows you to trap him. When you think you got him trapped and try to hit the four takedown, he evades and escape. He's a phenomenal fighter. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fist. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Just miss with that right hand. The strikes continuing to pile up. 27 total strikes have found the mark for Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. for the champion. Leg kick lands. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to count after block the shot. Oh, nice jab up top by O'Malley. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab. He's a, I mean, he's confused. On his first test in elementary school. Well, Tyron Woodley has long said that Jorge Masvidal is the best boxer in the UFC, and at least tonight, certainly looks the part. Absolutely. His boxing is so high level. I mean, we watched him beat some of the best fighters in the world due to that hand speed, due to that accuracy. Another strike upstairs, and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swell. He can't miss, J.A., and when you saw the swelling initially, you knew. Oh! What a fight. Both of these guys are trying to finish. Big man with the right for O'Malley. Huge shots there. Final seconds here. reach the end of round one. So there is the horn standing ovation from this capacity crowd. Near knockouts by both fighters. Probably the best round we've seen thus far this year. Oh man, this is the best round of fighting that I have seen for a very long time. Why did the bell have to stop? Let's just go 10 minutes straight. Pride rules. All right, so there's the end of the round and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Ready. Round two is underway. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got rough. Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot. That he landed. Great job. Big left hand there inside. Wow, what a head kick. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye. Oh, oh he lands a massive kick here. Big right hand there. Looking for that 
left hand just missed. wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You gotta take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot. has got full mount now. Yep, gotta be very careful. Like that! Like that! Well, at this point, hard to blame him for head hunting, right? He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area to great effect. Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job recognizing where he had an advantage, where he has an ability to separate himself from his opponent. He's done exactly... Oh, now he's gonna find himself in a little more danger. Now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. Defensively, you can see fighting the arm here, but his opponent's got double hooks in now under the chin. Yeah, it's getting very tight now. Oh, wow, he got out and melted. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Not panicking whenever he was beat so greatly by that rear naked choke. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you it. you got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the pitch. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands, every punch lands. He is just outclassing this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's gonna end very early. Nice defense. Oh, nice hammer fist there by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes in. Pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. And now Masvidal's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. Oh, right into Mount. Oh, another beautifully placed shot right on that swollen area. Referee might call for the doctor here, sir. right back to the full mount. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Now he's got a good body position, yup. All right, relax, everybody. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. And now Masvidal's in half court. Different round and the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike he has thrown seemingly is finding the target. I mean, it's, it's landing. Everything is landing, J.A. And coming into this fight, he understood that he had an advantage in this particular skill. I don't know if he could have even expected it to be this vast as we have seen to this point in the fight. Final seconds. Strong work here by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. All right, that signifies the end of the round, and O'Malley's eye is completely shut at this point in time. So I wouldn't be surprised if you see the ringside physician come in and might even stop the fight here between rounds. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is <laughs> swollen on top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken Ready, far fight. too many. Ready. Here we go. Third round of this championship. Oh, that was very bad. Keep doing that, 
Straight right hand from Masvidal. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. O'Malley's eye is now swollen shut. They could actually stop this fight right now, given how bad it is. Oh, big head kick there. Way to make that elbow count. He's got to be careful here. Fighter able to reverse position on the ground and gain a dominant position. Nicely done. Oh, that cut is getting worse with every pass and ground strike as he lands again. Right hand by the champ. Yeah. Getting the ball here. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Oh, he's got his back. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Oh, big puff from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how, how skilled both of these men are. Great commitment to the kicking game. Masvidal's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. He's got a great chin. Masvidal's the, one of the toughest guys that you've ever seen step foot in. And back to his feet. Well, I don't think his corner is going to step in here, but maybe the referee will take a close look. I mean, that eye is disgusting. His eye is done. He's been beat up. He got cut early in the fight, and he's just been targeted in that area. He has not made any... Oh, my God! That is gonna do it! Jorge Masvidal! Holy smokes! All right, let's go inside the octagon now to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 50 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout. And new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Jorge Gabriel Masvidal. All right, so there it is, Jorge Masvidal, your winner tonight by knockout. And as he has done so many times in his UFC career, he absolutely lit up this arena tonight. Yeah, he's a popular guy, but it's rooted in his abilities. The guy has tremendous boxing. He's fast. He throws everything the way it's supposed to be thrown. And when